Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here, and welcome back to more of Tears of the Kingdom. Last time, we eradicated all pirates. All of them. And now, we're finishing up everything left to do in the Nekluda area. Unfortunately, my, I cannot recall that, that any of those details. Anyway, before I leave here, give me arrows, give me arrows, give me palm fruits, give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. And give me a way out. Uh, yep, all the way up. This also... Answer another question I have if possibly there is some kind of minigame on here. Oh, this is not where I thought it was going to lead me. I thought I was going to go much further up. Well, I don't have to worry too much about the rain, thankfully. Just because of shenanigans. Yes, yes, yes. I do, I do still have to talk to Sasami so we can uh, wrap up everything here, but... Part of my brain is yelling at me that there is a minigame out here. And again, it could be memories of Breath of the Wild. Rain, go away. Master Sword, thank you. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. All the world is waiting for the sun. I crap, it's in, it is this game. Unless this is like ruins of something else, but there might be a minigame on the Cluda. Dang it! <sighs> well, well, I guess we can't, I guess I can't finish the uh, fun, uh, the super hidden light route out here and call it a day. I have to go do a minigame too. Oh no, I have to enjoy the video game more. I say, looking at my timeline readout, going, mm, "It's getting a little long. I don't know if uh, I hope I don't lose any any audio." Are you still in the center there? No, there's nothing in Senator again. Okay. I had to check. Bird eggs. We'll leave the sea life be. Anyway, hello, Sasami. Hey, hey I can I can tell just by look uh just by looking at you that something happened. What's up? They're gone. Okay, head around the back of the island. And there was a pirate ship. You beat every single pirate on the ship too? Holy cow, you're like a one man monster control crew. Buddy, you have not seen some of the horrors I've had to face. I mean, I'm part of the Monster Control crew, and I still lost my nerve. Thanks to you, I can finally breathe easy. Oh, I should probably give you some token of my gratitude for risking your life. Uh, here, accept this. Oh, thanks. Uh, we're expecting something that rare, were you? Uh, I picked up on a previous Monster Control crew expedition. But hold on to his lucky charm all this time. But well, you'll probably get more use out of it than I would. <laughs> now then, time to put together a report on what have happened here and finally leave the island. Once I'm back, I'm turning over a new leaf. No more scaredy Sasami. I'm going to be capable and courageous like you. So thanks for the help and inspiration, mister. I hope to see you around. Well, we'll check back in on that minigame. But first things first, I'm handling something that I've been that I've needed to handle a while. Handle a while? Handle for a while. You. Uh, also, while I'm thinking of it, I'm just going to put another stamp up here. We're going in, baby. It's dark time. Oh, hey, it's dark time. That means I get to put on my armor set. Oh, Depths Exploration Armor Set. Where have you been? Oh, we can see the shining footsteps and it's in there. We can see how the shining footsteps stuff works in its uh, full glory. There we go. Nice and bright. I see the... Oh, I see a way back up. I don't see the light. I don't... Oh, whoa. A Colosseum. I see. Well, let me light it up and then we'll go to the Colosseum too. I did not know this is out here. I will be honest. You're not going to tell me that the... Oh, that's a little off. It's a little off. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, behind the Colosseum. Got it. Yeah, the mark is a little off, so... Yeah, I guess you, well, we've been stepping here, but you can kind of see the whole light of footsteps thing. It's kind of like a bread, uh, breadcrumb trail effect kind of effect, where you can see where you've walked, that way you can always backtrack. And there's the light route. The second to last light route. Uh, light routes, I have not missed you. <laughs> but that one light route lights up 
the entirety of that lower dagger-ish area that we kind of went to in the dark. It lights up this entire island. As as you saw, it's separate from that part. We no longer lo no longer need this set of armor set once again. And we do have an arena coming up, so let's get back up there. Oh shoot, that's a we are far away down, aren't we? Yeah, we can go around the backside. That's fine. Anyway. Uh, no, I want to get rid of the pin. Thank you, though. <laughs> Thank you for your concern. Oh, also. While I'm thinking of it. Uh, I guess I'll put that there, because that's that's a way back up to the surface. And that might be actually how we'll get up to the top of, the, of Neclude Island the fastest. <sighs> and again, I've, I'll say it again. Just to emphasize the point, I did not think there was a Coliseum out here. I don't remember what this Coliseum is, and I don't think it's anything too terrifying, really. Is that a royal? Oh my gosh, that's a royal guard. That is a royal guard's... That's a royal uh, guard's claymore. I don't believe it. Stand up, Link, stand up. Wow. Okay, yeah. Well, who wants to make a boss killer really quick? Uh, attack power. I still need all these white stuff, but, uh, well, 37, 34, 34. Fine, we'll do this. Let's make a boss killer really quick. I don't think I'll use it in the arena, but I still want to make this. 90. Other than using the, other than using maybe the blade for the uh, silver Lionel, I think that's probably the sm uh, the strongest weapon we can make without having like Water Warrior on top of it. Which is that what's is that what's going on with this one right now? Oh no, Strong Fusion. Okay, I lied. Now I guess we're gonna do this arena before I go do mini games. Game, the, this game has really hit me with the Jackie Chan adventures. One more thing. Gosh, I feel like I'm speaking ancient script when I talk about when I talk about something a cartoon from the late 90s early 2000s. Well, I do have to do it cuz this is for some kind of reward. And it is it's Bokoblins. It's it's Bokoblins. It's Bokoblins. I am worried about Bokoblins. Oh, that does do a lot of damage, though. Oh, good shot, Tulin. Once again, I am worried about Bokoblins. I don't believe myself. Who's got a shield? Or who's got it? Hi. I got in. Ow. Okay. And you got me. Fair enough. Hit him. I'll pick up all the goodies later, but I'm not too worried about dying to this. Especially because they keep reducing the, the, the uh, counts and ranks. Anyway, I can't hold any of this other stuff. I'm just literally for those goodies. I suppose now that they're... I suppose now that they're black creatures, I probably have to start taking them a little more seriously, huh? Just a little bit more, not a whole lot. And a single white. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make your I'm gonna make your existence painful. Hey Noble, come here. We're lighting his stuff on fire. No guard. I now bestow you with no guard ability. Get no guarded, idiot. Yeah, you can hit me, but I can hit you too. And that's it. Oh, I lied. Oh, one of each? Okay. Oh, they got strong stuff, too. Okay. So I talked a good game. I might be, get myself slapped. Who's ready for me to, to recite the old phrase, talk smit, get hit? Uh, yeah, you do have it. You know what? Uh, oh, by use. Haha. <laughs> Drop it. Anyway, pe bop, 
Oop, there we go. There was that one. Fine. You want to play this game? I'll play rush you. Your health, your health will just melt. Does this work because it's technically okay? I'm not at full health, so it doesn't work like that. Hmm. I would steal a sword, but unfortunately, I would rather use a, I would rather use a spear. Let's use that one. Why not? All right, good talk, fella. I don't know what you're regarding, but I'm taking it now. Uh, goodies. There we go, goodies. Man, kind of kind of wild to think that as soon as you get like come into the depths with proper armor and gear and everything, you don't have to worry about death. Oh, Minus Helmet, that's where it is. I was curious, uh, mildly curious rather. I knew it was in the game. I just didn't remember where. <laughs> well. Well, little Twilight Goblin, good to good to hear from you again. Man, I kind of feel like playing Twilight Princess again now. Now that I have her helmet. Listen, Twilight Princess is isn't like my top isn't like my top five Zelda games. I was talking with a friend last night. It kind of came up like you know top five Zelda games and like pull out the glider, Jesus. Uh, top five Zeldas came into conversation and. <clears throat> I think, at least for me, me and, that, me and that friend and the group at the time, we kind of came to the agreement that, uh, you know, Tears of the Kingdom is just Breath of the Wild, but again, so it kind of wouldn't be, it kind of wouldn't be too outlandish to say Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are effectively the same game. So, I mean, these games are my favorite games in the series. Yeah, I thought so. But, the, uh, but yeah, Twilight Princess, I think it's like game four or five in the series. Hello, minigame time. Oh, visitor, it's new. What are you doing here? Exploring. Oh. Uh, exploring what I like this very well. I am a scholar presently engaged in the research of mechanics of flight. Nemo and I ran into each other when we were searching for a test site where we could perform my experiments. It was he who suggested the island. <laughs> Mr. Brandley told me you've been dreamt of flying without wings. It was all so, so intriguing, so I had to get involved. And you know, you could use a test uh, research assistant. Let me know. You could just sit back and let science happen. But no, you want to have all in ins and outs have picked apart. Fine. Oh. Nemo, fill the young man in. Ah. Well, you see the, the project over there that looks like a set of wings? It fell from the sky recently. Mr. Br uh, Branley thinks it may be an agent of a uh, flying device we could use to soar freely through the air. But at present, that's only an un untested hypothesis. Ah. We need to prove or disprove it to get on, uh, on the wings and flying to the objective. Ah. How about this? Ready to cast off gravity's cruel balance and soar? You got it. <laughs> Marvelous. You got to read it. Now, to be totally candid, I'll even have an unexpected funding shortage. So I hate to ask, could you mind kicking in 20 rupees? Ready your wings. You can definitely tell I'm getting t kind of to the end of my rope because my voice is just like, or my voice is getting scratchy and I'm also skipping through text as quick as I can. Oh, we just go. Okay. Uh, Already, sir. Ah, seeing as you are new to this experiment, we had to best lay out the parameters. You know, tell you again what he'll be doing. Uh, now that you're on the wings, it's nearly time to take flight. It's really prepped. We're literally aiming for bullseye if we can. We're asking you to aim for the center of the circles over there. Land as close to the target as you can. Maneuvering with the wings may be difficult, but we believe you can steer by maintaining the balance. I've already shown this off. You may not get off the wings till the experiment is complete. That would render data useless. So we're just going to do this once. We're just going to do this, this once, but I kind of have shown this way back to Tutorial Island. And because this is Tutorial Island stuff, I'll uh, kind of go over the basics of this once again. So the center point, the center point will just keep the glider gliding as, as it does. If you step on the right wing, it'll turn right. If you step on the left wing, it'll turn left. Step on the nose, it'll dive. Step on the back, it'll stall or pull back. So the whole idea is we're going to start bringing it in for a dive here. Actually, bring it in for a dive a little bit faster, too. Uh, pull back a little bit. And, oh, uh, I almost hit the center. I hope that's good enough. You landed 
13.9 meters away. Hmm, not quite a bird like, but not bad by any means either. Give the young man his reward. Ah. Ah, well done, say a little more practice, you'll fly like a pro. Here's your reward. I'm pretty sure if you hit the center for the first time, it'll be a 300 rupee, but it's not related to a quest, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Now nah, I'm good, thanks though. But hey, this is probably some this is probably some equally easy money to some other things we've done. Uh anyway, that's all done. Let me stop by Nakluda just to make sure I'm not missing out on any other side quests. But this may wrap up today's recording session. Or at least this recording session. I'm debating if I want to double up on recording sessions today, because I am, like I said, mentally I'm kind of in go mode for this whole series. So yeah, let me check down by the dock really quick, just to make sure. I'm fairly certain we're all said and done, don't have to worry about much else. And if I did miss a side quest, you know, I can always look it up in between sessions here, but I'm, again, fairly certain, all said and done. If we need to get our man, they'd be right here in the dock. Uh, coming into view right about now. Yep, right about now if, if he's there. He's not there. Okay, so no no more quests remain. Well, what's... Did that refill already? Hello? Yep. What's in here? Oh, did you just get... Cool, you just get money. Uh, I made a lot of money today. Anyway, well everyone, I do want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Tears of the Kingdom. And come back next time when, well, we're finally get, we're going to head out west once again. And I might beeline this area-ish. Or maybe I'll actually start from the Skyview Tower back here because this might work better. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So we'll start from the Skyview Tower in the back just so I can uh, handle a few things. But we do have like three, I think we have three more glyphs to find. Uh, album. <laughs> album. Album and the chipmunks. I'm losing it. Okay, we have two more glyphs to get. So I know one's going to be like here. And the other one's like here. So maybe we'll handle those last two glyphs at this point. Might lead to something else too. Let me double check. So yeah, we got those two. Yeah, I think we're just missing the two that are in those... In this upper spot here and this lower spot here. So yeah. Uh, yeah, that's really all it. So, and I'm going to probably focus this. I'll probably also focus this particular. This is a kind of a double whammy shrine, I'll tell you. But we'll handle this one uh, quicker than other stuff too. Because it will get us to the last light route of the game. Anyway, my rambling aside. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Take care.